Next, we got building global brands through NFTs, a dazed duck quack study from Zach Hadid. Please give him a round of applause. Good afternoon, everybody. Quack, quack, what's up? How are you guys doing? Come on, let me hear a quack, quack a little bit louder, please. Love it, love it. Don't worry, I won't be too long today. I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about what we've done with the Days Ducks in terms of building out what we hope is gonna become a pretty awesome global brand. As uh, our host said, my name is Zach Hadid. I'm one of the co-founders of Days Ducks, and I'm from a small little island called Antigua in the Caribbean. I don't know if a lot of you guys are familiar with it. Lots of beaches, but not very well known for its crypto or NFTs. However, we've got awesome culture, awesome talent, and as you're seeing um, up on screen, oh, it may show a little bit later, our artist is super talented too, a local Antiguan artist that has been working as an artist for the last 10 to 15 years. The rest of my team also out of Antigua. And we came together when the NFT uh, hype started to, to build up and saw it as a really awesome opportunity to build a brand that had global appeal from a small little island. We're all very entrepreneurial in our past. We've been trying to launch a few different e-commerce businesses and brands that have done well, both on island, regionally, across the Caribbean, but never really had that global impact. Um, you know, we run into a few different issues in terms of human resources and the ability to even just get visibility online. And when NFTs really started to pick up, we both kind of all came together and said, look guys, Guava's so talented, our artist Guava, why not use this as that opportunity to build a brand that leverages off of this art, but still has global appeal? And that's exactly what we've set out to do. We minted our collection on January 1st. There were 10,000 pieces. Uh, they sold out in that first day, which for us alone was a huge feat um, being from that small island. But we never really got a chance to celebrate that, seeing that we're, we're builders. And we had a roadmap that really was going to showcase what we can build and how those themselves can be brands too. So everything that we're doing is focused around being, um, or bl blending the experience from web two to web three, or in real life to web three. Every little brand or sub-brand or venture that we plan to go into builds on that because we're heavy believers that good tech is tech you don't see. You know, and right now I think a lot of the mass adoption of NFTs or even the mass recognition of these brands we're building is hindered because it still requires you guys to be involved in Web3, downloading wallets, diving into discords, grinding for whitelist spots. And I can tell you that from the community in Antigua, that isn't really the easiest way to adopt, you know, engagement with the brand itself. And I think that applies globally. So what we're trying to do as the Days Ducks is with the funds we raised from Mint, is we're building out a few different ventures that are actually not even branded Days Ducks itself, but have their own brand hierarchy and brand value um, that will start to launch. And those include different things that you've already seen in Web2, like game places, uh, like merchandise and apparel stores, um, as well as even more innovative stuff like advertising chain uh, networks on chain, but all kind of focused on reaching out to different B2B or B2C um, markets across the world. Uh, because we're pretty big on, on being innovative, but using Web3 as that opportunity to show the rest of you guys what we can build in terms of community, in terms of branding, as we're speaking about, and also still showcasing the talent in the Caribbean. It's very difficult for a lot of our talented individuals to ever have that global appeal. And with Days Ducks, it's been an example. Even to the sense that from our island, a, a girl that I even went to class with as a young boy has started her own NFT collection too and has gained global traction just in her pre-market. So the fact that we're inspiring other creators with the Days Ducks, that you have this ability now to not be confined by the shores of our island or just the, the archipelago of islands that we are in the Caribbean, you have the ability to build something that everybody is going to be uh, uh, that's appealing to everybody at least. And it starts with the art, but it also then dives a little bit further to that. So Guava, he set the pace for us when he started drawing these amazing ducks. The rest of us had to come together now and figure what sort of value are we gonna add to this that really creates unique offerings for the brand and also making sure that you guys kind of resonate with what we're doing. That started with transparency, 
one of the biggest things that we did at the beginning of our launch was really onboarding people in the Caribbean into the crypto and NFT space without even focusing on what we were doing as Days Ducks. Once they kind of trusted us and they were familiar with the tech and, and what the space and the vision we were trying to build, then we kind of introduced them to this brand, Days Ducks, that was so much more easier, I guess, friendly for them to interact with versus having to log into a, an exchange or download a wallet or you know jump through hoops just to acquire a token. So I think what a lot of people are forgetting or missing out in this space, and yeah, it's often the meta right now. You know, you have projects that launch with just, oh, we're an amazing brand, but they don't realize how far that has to go down, all your different levels of what you're offering. That Those brand values need to touch everything from your community all the way up to the products, the quality that you deliver, the mentality that the team has behind everything. And we've tried to really make that our core focus. I spoke about transparency. In addition to that, also just building organic communities and followings really helped our brand a lot go to the next level. And now we've got about 4,000 holders. Um, it's never really fluctuated from there. Floor price and all this sort of stuff doesn't really matter to us too much. Because as I said, we have the long-term vision for this brand and this business. There's a roadmap that is probably a year long, but after that, you know, we've got ventures that we look to our community to, to keep adding to it. The same way that Adidas or Nike have all these different sub-brands and collaborations that just still resonate with their initial key brand values. So Days Ducks really is an opportunity for that. Um, and you'll see you know, that we have a, different, a variety of different offerings for a variety of different consumer groups. You know, we do have some more fun-filled interaction, very NFT degen activities, but also we do take the corporate approach sometimes um, with a lot of our different ventures, like the ad exchange that I had mentioned, even just the way in which we present ourselves and, and partner with different brands or, or events like this. You know, we're trying to show that it doesn't just need to be degens, it doesn't just need to be techies, it can be a, a brand that appeals to any sort of audience and, and have that reach globally. Um, so I definitely want to, you know, touch on also how we've kind of visioned the NFT space developing. Um, I spoke a bit about this meta about branding, and, and that's great, but also making sure that, you know, you remember all the different aspects that the, the communities are looking for right now. Your target audiences are so diversified when you're reaching out, you know, with this global uh, reach that you can get through NFTs that you need to remember that your brand also needs to offer this diversified offerings too. So we're trying to keep adding to what the Days Ducks stands for. As a holder, you get this feel that you're part of a community that is very organically built thanks to our origin, but also that it's somewhere that you as well can develop your own brand or even network and, and improve your businesses in real life, um, bringing value from the community to other holders too. Uh, so that's something that we also hope our brand values have resonated through. And I think I've got a few holders in the audience. They would agree that that kind of has set the foundation for us to have this core community that continues to thrive, grow organically, and really become appealing to any sort of audience that looks to come into the space, whether that you're there just for the flip or whether you're there to learn about crypto and NFTs, or whether you're there to, to get involved in fashion and, and, inter and collect you know, our apparel, or whether you're an innovator yourselves like us, or you know, someone that is looking for the opportunity to work in the space. So we've been trying to make sure that our brand touches all these different values by developing these different platforms for everybody to come in and interact with us whether you want to be part of the community or not, whether you're just invested in, in the crypto space or the NFT space, we're trying to make sure that we continually touch these audience groups so that we can keep resonating as a global brand and build from there too. Um, I, we'll count how many times I said brand during this presentation, but I mean, it's really what I, I, I focused this talk on today because we felt that that was such a hard task to accomplish from the Caribbean, from a small little island with 90,000 people but now being able to have all this following and recognition here in New York, uh, you know, at an event where there's audience from across the globe has really kind of pat ourselves on the back to say, we've actually kind of achieved what we set out to do, but the work's not finished now. We have a lot more to build on, um, and we realize that we can't lose focus of those original values that we started with at Mint. 
Uh, if you'd like to learn a bit more about the Days Ducks, because I don't have too much time left, you can find everything you need on, on social media as well as our website. We're not one of those collections where you got to be grinding in Discord. We try to be touching every uh, channel of communication to make sure that we have that global appeal. So just visit daysducks.com or follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whichever one, at daysducks, and reach out to us. We're very open, very transparent, and we're always looking to build and innovate and learn what you guys have to say. Thank you, guys. Quack, quack. Mm-hmm.